the Trigicon Type 2 HRS. Let's check it out. Trigicon has a long-standing record for being some of the most rugged optics in the world. Uh, with their Trigicon ACOG, which has served with the U.S. Marine Corps for over 20 years, and then with their RMR, or their Rugged Miniaturized Reflex Sight. Uh, these have been just excellent sights. They're just bomb-proof. Uh, but one of the problems has been is that these were not designed to fit on handguns. And because of that, some have had some flickering issues and some things. Uh, there have been some remedies, but Trigicon moved it up to the Type 2. That was to take care of any kind of problems. It just, the electronics were advanced and improved. Uh, what held the battery in was strengthened. So these small little micro red dots have proven themselves to just be excellent over the past couple of years. To the point that SOCOM, or the U.S. Special Operations Command, has adopted the new Trigicon Type 2 HRS, which stands for Handgun Reflex Sight. So not only has Trigicon proven itself for being very rugged, but now SOCOM has taken it and they've done their testing and it has really proven itself. Now one of the things about Trigicon is that they are combat sites. I mean these sites are made as go-to sites. Uh, they're made for the military, they're made for law enforcement, they're made for re really rough task and as a duty optic. First thing we want to do is make sure the gun isn't loaded. So we're going to drop the magazine, check the chamber, it's empty. Now we're using a Glock Gen 5 Model 19, uh, just an excellent MOS model, uh, already with the slide cuts. But there are so many different pistols now again that are uh, offering slide cuts without having to take them to a, a custom shop and have them done, have the slide milled. So it makes it really easy. One of the big things, though, about this site is that it has been chosen by SOCOM, which is a big deal. I mean, they've done their own testing on these sites, even though these sites have been tested over the past couple of years, especially the Type 2, and even the Type 1 for a long time. Of course, one thing that really differentiates this site is the hard anodized finish, which is unusual for Trigicon. Typically, you get the black anodized, or if you want any kind of color, it's a Cerakote. And so this is one of the first for Trigicon to go with this kind of color for their RMR. Here we have the manufacturer's date, January 2019, and you have your serial number. Right here at the top, we have our model number, RMO6. Uh, this is the HRS, which is the handgun reflex sight. And then we have 2nd Peter 119. Uh, which Trigicon is a Christian company, and they do label their optics with scriptures that are almost encrypted. I mean, it's a really small lettering, but this is on all the RMRs, at least the ones that I have. You can opt to not have the scripture on your whatever optic you get from Trigicon. The verse is, as a light that shines in the dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. It is one MOA adjustment with one click, uh, and you have your elevation, and we have our windage. Uh, one thing I do want to show you is that it is tactile, and you can hear it. Now, this has the illumination adjustment, uh, which some models do not. It just comes with one setting. Uh, this is to increase the brightness, and then there's a minus on the other side that is to decrease the brightness.
There are eight settings on this model, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and start. There are two that are night vision. You're not going to even be able to see it. We're going to go up one more. Number three, have four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, it looks really bright, and it blooms on this screen, but in bright daylight, it does not show up that way. This illumination is actually daylight bright. Some of the brightest I've ever seen. This is really for super bright sunlight. And then we just go down with that minus setting on the right. And you can see that it just drops right down. And then there is the night vision setting. Now here we have the Type 1 and the Type 2 RMR. From this angle right here, there is no visible difference. Both have the plus keypads, Trigicon made in the USA, and Patton. There are some differences on the other side. One, of course, this says the RMO6. This says the RMO6 with the HRS. They both have the verse reference. But here you have your QR code on the side. And then you have your serial number. Here, we have the data manufacturer and the serial number. On top, at least with the SOCOM model, your QR code is on top. Also here, the graphics are a little bit different on the adjustments. While they both use the CR2032 batteries, which are very common, this is a big difference and one of the reasons why that the battery is more stable. As you can see, we have little pressure points that push up. We have connection points on both sides. It's a little bit different. Here, it's more plain. There's a little pressure point in the center, and then there's just one connection here, a little difference down here at the bottom. This is a much more secure system for your battery than this system. There are some options you can get. I think the boss plate that goes in here that'll stabilize your battery a little better. So it still leaves the Type 1 to be very effective, but the big plus is that the Type 2 has been improved and the electronics are just better. Now here you'll notice there is a gasket that runs all the way through and sometimes they can kind of come out of their grooves. So you just need to make sure you push, keep that push down and obviously don't remove this little area right here. Now for the MOS Glock, uh, it comes with a ceiling plate and the screws that I had, I'd used them on another RMR. So I just attached it directly, uh, but this will keep it waterproof and seal with that gasket. Now here's one of the fixed illuminated setting LED RMRs. You can see there are no pads on the side. It's just one brightness and it stays there. Uh, one of the things that I, and you can see the little gasket wanting to come out. Uh, one of the things that I love about this particular uh, illuminated adjustment is that I can set the adjustment wherever I want to. Now the Type 2 RMR with the adjustable settings, that's the LED, they have four different modes. And so you have off, you have automatic mode, you have manual mode, and then you have the lockout feature. And I'm going to show you each one. The illumination is on right here. Press both pads at the same time for three seconds. And the LED will shut off. So now your light is off, your illumination's off. Uh, if you want to turn your illumination on, all you have to do for manual is press it one time. And you're in manual. So here I can adjust my settings however I want to. No problem. If I want to go into automatic mode, I just press for one second. And then what happens is, you can see it dimming down right there. It just dimmed down as I covered this up. This is automatic mode. And this illumination will adjust to available light. If it's really bright, the light will get really bright, or the illumination. If it gets really dim and low light, the illumination will dim down. Now, if you have a weapons-mounted light, you have a lot of bright light going this way, but you may have dim, dark light around the RMR. So it's going to actually wash out. You're not going to be able to see it. And so that could be a problem. So I personally like to go with the manual setting uh, for changing things. And all you have to do is, even in the automatic, is just adjust it with your finger. I mean, you can still adjust it, and it'll kick it out of automatic mode. If you leave it in manual mode for 16 and a half hours, it'll power down to the automatic setting and this will conserve your battery. Now as far as the lockout feature, we need to turn the light off. So you press and hold both sides for three seconds and it goes off. Now press and hold for three seconds. Now you're in lockout mode and what that means is this is the setting that is going to stay. You can hit these side buttons all you want and it's not going to change anything. And the big advantage of that is if you have any kind of pressing here, 
especially if you're concealed carrying and you have something bumping up against your pressure pads, it's not going to change the light. And so that is a great feature to have. It keeps it locked out and it keeps it from being adjusted. So if you ever have to draw this, it'll be at the right setting. I want to thank Fioki USA for sending the 9mm ammo. Uh, this stuff is all made in the USA, good quality stuff. And also uh, Maglula. Big thanks to those guys. This is so easy. <laughs> Now we went out to the range and it was a really bright sunny day. Uh, we still had to dial down the illumination a couple of notches. I think we were running in the six and five range and it was still really bright. Uh, these sites are made to withstand just really bright conditions but yet you can dial it down if you need to. And then of course with the two night settings it makes it excellent for night vision. And that's one of the things, especially your budget optics, you're not going to have that capability. One of the things, though, I love about the Red Dot system, and I really feel that this is the way that we're going to be going with handguns, is before you were having to look at your rear sight, match it up to your front sight, and then to your target. And so you had a lot going on to line up uh, with the reflex or any uh, miniature Red Dot sight. You just get that dot on the target and you fire. And so it's really an incredible system, very fast. One of the problems, though, a lot of guys that first get an RMR or a miniature red dot sight is when they bring the glass up to their eye, they want to look in the glass, and they're not really thinking about their sight or their natural grip. And it's really just like you would aim a handgun through the sights. You bring it up to that natural point, and there's the dot. So these definitely take some training to be able to get used to. But once you start shooting with it, it doesn't take long. Now this is the sight picture. And really, you want to kind of line more up your sights to get the red dot. So this is pretty much what you're doing. A lot of times people will bring them up and they're looking through the lens. But when they put it in their natural point of aim with their sights, they get that red dot. Of course, suppressor height sights would definitely aid. Now typically with a miniature red dot sight, I would be a little bit slow to use this uh, for you know slide manipulation. But with the RMR, it's just solid. So even on your pocket, you're able to make one-handed one reloads. I mean, it's just very easy to do. And of course, you can grab it instead of the serrations, and that makes it really fast. And this thing is just battle-proven. Again, guys, it's bomb-proof. We did some one-handed manipulation drills. We did some beating on you know, trees. We did with a steel barrel, I mean, a pallet. I mean, we were just testing it just using it to see if we would still retain the zero, and it does. But if you want to see a real test, check out Aaron Cowan at Sage Dynamics. He puts 10,000 rounds uh, through one of his pistols with one of the new Type 2s. It's not the HRS, but he does a lot of testing, and Aaron's just a great guy anyway. And I'll have it annotated above. Now the battery life on the Type 2 RMRs is four years. So, and that's in a medium setting. Again, if you leave it on a higher setting, it's going to automatically adjust after 16 and a half hours to conserve that battery life. But uh, Trijicon recommends that you replace the batteries every year. It just keeps it very steady. And one thing about these sites is that they will not just shut off. They'll just start to dim down as you lose battery power. This is the 3.25 MOA model, which is Trijicon's most popular. One of the reasons why is because it's small enough to get accuracy, but yet large enough to be able to see it uh, when you bring it up. It weighs 1.2 ounces, so it's a very lightweight system. Uh, you, you have tons of different options for mounting uh, on just about any handgun that has your RMR cuts or adapter plates. So there's a lot. You can go to the Trijicon website to check all the details out. This is the toughest, most rugged sight available. Now the price on the standard Type 2 LED adjustable RMR, they run, I think, retail $699, and I've seen them for around the $500 range. Uh, so it's, you know, they are expensive, but guys, I'm telling you, they're worth every penny. Now when it comes to the HRS model that has been adopted by SOCOM, one of the things, of course, is the color, the anodized finish. There are a few other differences, but guys, to be honest, it's just an upgraded Type 2 sight, really with color and a few minor changes. Uh, but they still run $739 retail. So it's about $40 more than the original Type 2. 
And so we'll probably be looking at these around the $550 to $600 range, just according to how much demand these have. Uh, with that color and with the anodized finish, and it is a low detection color, which is one of the things that SOCOM wanted. If you ever pick up a Trigicon RMR, uh, you're going to be glad you did because it is. It's worth every penny. And I want to thank Trigicon for sending the HRS for this test and evaluation. And uh, guys, you know I'm a big fan of the RMR, and we'll be seeing a lot more of these because they just keep coming out with cool handguns with the RMR cuts. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. RMR stands for Ruggedized Miniaturized Reflex. <laughs> That's hard to say. <laughs> With the Type 2 settings, which is just really... SOCOM, or the U.S. Um, Special Operations. Why is it that tree frogs always make me think it's getting late? Okay. It's the end of the day.